I'm Julie Kramer White. I'm the chief engineer for the Orion program. That's the capsule behind me. Actually, my real job is to be an advocate in a lot of regards for all the engineering disciplines that support the development of the spacecraft. If they have problems, they need more help, more resources, they come to me, I help them. I help the program management to make technical decisions related to the design and development of the spacecraft. So it's really just a lot of working with different teams of people to make sure we get the best spacecraft we can. My educational background is obviously in engineering. I have a, a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering from Purdue University, and I went on to get a master's degree in mechanical engineering with a materials emphasis for graduate school. Before I came to NASA, I worked at Target, so that was, that was important, learning to organize things. That was very important. Then I went on to NASA. I've actually been at NASA for 30 years this fall. I started as a co-op, so as an engineering student, and I rotated between school and work for about five years while I was in undergraduate school, and then I became employed here full time. So I've been at Johnson Space Center ever since then. I have a middle school student. Uh, my daughter is 13, and I always tell her, certainly you need to find something that you love to do. But if you love science and math, engineering may be just the thing for you, because we do a lot of it here, and we get to work on awesome things like spacecraft. So, so it's a great place to come be an engineer. Communication is so important, and you wouldn't necessarily think that. When you go through engineering school, they spend a lot of time with you talking to you about math and talking to you about science. And they try to tell you that communicating is important, but you don't realize until you get out in the workforce and you have to deal with groups of people and you have to help solve problems how important communicating is. It is probably the one skill that my engineering team could always use more of is to be able to be good communicators. I have wanted to work at NASA since I was in high school. My high school yearbook actually says I'm going to go work at NASA. I really always loved to fix things when I was a kid. I was always the kid that had everything torn apart in the house, uh, much to my mother's dismay. But usually I got it back together with most of the pieces. Didn't know any engineers when I was growing up, so it was something kind of new to me. And I came here to Johnson Space Center and got to see all different kinds of engineers before I picked the type of engineering that I went along with in my career. Experiencing failure is part of engineering. Um, it's part of probably most career paths, but it's definitely a part of engineering because just by definition, when you're doing what we call the development process for a spacecraft, there's a lot of engineering, trying it, not liking the outcome, and having to try it again. So you've got to be willing to just try something, and when it doesn't go the way you want it to go, you've got to be willing to pick yourself up and try again. A lot of mistakes go into making a spacecraft that works. 